Hello there. So we're going to compare the upscalings from Mid Journey to 4K and we compare it to the Gigapixel. I know it's maybe not Apple per Apple comparison because Mid Journey is actually generating images and can create panoramic and other stuff. And Gigapixel's uh, AI, it is specifically focused on upscaling. But if you saw my videos before, and I'll put link down below for those who miss it, I had quite a bit comparison between all different services and gigapixels which one can upscale the best and of course gigapixels come up front and i'm using the major difference because for mid journey i think upscaling is secondary primarily it's generating images can generate panoramic all the stuff but it also can upscale to 4k inside well you notice it can be 2k's or 4k we'll take it to the maximum can upscale inside and gigapixels cannot generate but it can take any image from anywhere and it actually can upscale reduce noise remove artifacts or do other stuff but for the our purpose of this compare upscaling i think that work the best we do have it upscale also in stable diffusion but i won't be comparing this right now because it does little bit on my opinion underperform compared to gigapixels and also not everyone can install on the machine okay so what are we going to do right here you'll notice i regenerated some images and some of them will represent like these robots primarily i was looking for single line messy see how the, all these single elements or small small details can be upscaled as it's add additional elements to this and another test i created multiple organic look leaves with a translucent leaf where we can see some cells and primarily again see how the small details will be upscaled i generated in 1024 by 1024 several images and after i upscale next we gone inside the gigapixels and i took image with 1024 inside and upscale inside the gigapixels Notice that gigapixels can also upscale up to 6K or even more if you need it. But to compare with the mid journey, I'm just keeping for 4K. As well, I don't use it any additional settings. It's all set on after upscale. No suppressed noise, fixed compression or anything else. This is just in straight out comparing to this. Okay, let's jump inside the Photoshop and look what we're going to compare. This is our original 1024 image. And of course, if we increase, you can see right here, we start having pixelizations coming on the edges and we don't have the details. The upscale with inside mid journey or any other ones does not add more details. It does only detecting edges and increasing contrast by this. And we can compare, of course, by looking on the 4K. Right here, example, our 4K render and on the bottom, it will be our render from Mid Journey, and top layer, it will be one that generated inside the gigapixels. And I just overlay so we can compare. Let's go ahead, have it 100%. And uh, one thing, well, I notice right here when Mid Journey up, upscale, you can notice it does create kind of almost grain or pixelization. It's not necessarily algorithm work the best in upscaling. And we again, if we compare here, Let's go down and you notice it is pixelization, but it have a little bit nicer look. Okay. So this is our mid journey and this is one of from Topaz. Notice that Topaz actually did a very interesting. It's add a little bit more clear elements. They are not sharp, like, for example, if we come closer, you can see it's much edge defined a little bit more inside the mid journey. And this is a little bit more softer edges with the uh, AI, with the Tapaz AI. But it does perform much better if you look on a bigger pictures. Again, let's go with 100% because we will zoom a little bit. And with 100% preview, Actually, it's give it a little bit more depth, I think, with uh, Topaz. Like right here, look on this area, right in this area right here. Okay, oops. And you can see how it's created with the upscale inside Mid Journey. And it's definitely look a little bit better upscale inside the Topaz. Let's go look another example. Here is 
with the robotics and this 1024 and we're going to upscale inside okay and this of course this is our mid journey upscale and we're going to compare with uh, topaz this is definitely if you look on top it's look a little bit more artificial how it's created upscale and topaz look more realistic and much better shading and other elements also applied here okay same on other ones this is our 1024 we'll go upscale okay let's zoom out again it's look a little bit more flat and i think edges and this is topaz look much more soft organic and better shading actually same as applied details okay so let's go ahead and by the way this is a 6k upscale still keeping very nice shading let's look a little bit more this another robot will go look on um leaves and leaves uh reason why because if we look closer you can see we have the cells here translucent lighting as well we have some booking effect with a blur on the background which is sometimes can produce very unwanted the uh, bending on our gradient so we'll go compare with this one as well we have a little bit ice semi transparency and translucency so this is kind of nice to compare with this and let's go open our four case okay right here if we look closer this is our leaf it's upscale inside the mid journey and if we're going with the topaz you can see how much more details is actually added like right here this element right there remember this is wasn't rendered so topaz actually created better details compared to the um, mid journey same if we look a little bit on a inside the bending it does not have any bending here and i think this is also applied notice on the cells and sharpness this is topaz this is a mid journey 4k and i understand it does have its smoothness but just keep in mind all of this sharpness very can be easy adjust inside the photoshop so the, usually what i want to do i want to create a more sharp image so i can compare and of course both of them i don't think i see any bending in the gradients but i do see a little bit change maybe in the brightness okay and on organic it's definitely if we get closer right here this element you can see how much more details and light just add again this is topaz and this is mid journey 4k okay let's go look on the next one this is slightly different but we have it also lens blur right in this element let's go right there a little bit closer to preview and you can see again topaz does a lot of more add like cells creation and in some case actually i think in this case mid journey have a nice clear upscale versus topaz because i think topaz a little bit more gradient kind of add noise a little bit overdone but this is actually can be very easy to fix inside the topaz you just add a little bit less sharpness or other things so you won't have this elements but general it does pull out more oops okay right there let's go put it in I maximize and again topaz and this is our mid journey okay and let's compare one more just a little bit different because this is we have it also blur on this stuff right there and this is will be our mid journey and upscale some of the mid journey actually i think we lost some details there because i think topaz actually create much better details on this image and we can see all of the cells on the leaf so again before and yeah before it's look a little bit wash out and in some algorithms you definitely can see it's washing out there and here's this by the way i will leave a link down below for those who are interested in the past you can download it free trial preview see if you can have it right now run black friday so it's a very good discount if you decide to buy it personally i bought it um, they don't give me or anything i wasn't sponsored by them 
and I do like it. I use it all the time, and it seems like actually it still perform one of the best upscaler out there for the images. And just keep in mind if we're still using the mid journey and you have it upscale inside the mid journey or upscale inside stable diffusion again that is upscaling from uh, 512 or 1024 image and just upscale from that resolution so for you to use that specialized tool for upscaler may be worth better thank you for watching please subscribe give it likes and have a great day